introduce myself. My name is Jojo. I came from Twitter. I've been there for three years. I've been a Oracle customer for the past 20 years. Been using MySQL for the past half of that. I'm old. So what is Twitter? Twitter is what's happening in the world and what people are talking about right now. So news, politics, sports, that's where we are. A few facts about it, hundreds of millions of tweets every day. 70% of all NBA players are on Twitter. Hey, guys, watch um, Warriors, please. Check them out. Um, brand awareness and 90% of UN member states are on Twitter. So what do we have at Twitter? So we currently have two versions of uh, MySQL at Twitter. First one is 5.6. It's our own version, our own fork of MySQL. There's a lot of talk about it um, previously for the past two or three years um, about Gizzard and Flock and so on and so forth. And then we recently moved to community version 5.7 with the help of Oracle support. Um, we now have two versions. One is 5.6 and one is 5.7. We run thousands of production servers, uh, mostly on-prem. We are not yet on the cloud, but we're planning to go, to go there. And we support it via mostly automation and five engineers. So those five engineers are not really born MySQL DBA. We hire them as other kind of DBA or reliability engineers, and we train them as MySQL DBA. Later on, you will figure out why they were able to do their jobs. So what do we have? Twitter, like I said, we have 5.6. That's where we store mostly our social graphs, graphs, timelines, user data, and tweets. So this is the 5.6 uh, version of MySQL that we still have, I think, on GitHub open source. Um, I think we're going to close that. Um, we don't have um, MySQL developers anymore at the office, so they all moved to Oracle. Uh, most of the users to most of our users for this um, cluster are Twitter users. Mostly, every every time you tweet, it just goes to that um, cluster. So what do we have on 5.7 community version? So we decided to go to 5.7 community version. We'll decide maybe today or tomorrow if we're going to go to Enterprise Edition. But 5.7 community, we run um, around 100 clusters in here. We have revenue systems, payment system, user services and then other internal systems that we have. So our customers here are mostly internal customers. We have ad serving team, data enterprise solutions team, trust and safety, which is very, very important to Twitter, um, especially if you have complaints um, about bullying and so on and so forth, and other IT stuff. So how do we use it? Like I said, 5.6 Twitter version. We run um, our social graph here. We have around, I think, uh, to be exact, around 1.7 petabytes of data replicated um, four times. We have a few thousands of commodity servers across two data centers here in the US. We run around 50 million QPS of mostly reads on these two clusters of 5.6. For 5.7, so we have hundreds of clusters in here. These are smaller clusters. Um, we have a total QPS of around 1 million across all of these clusters. Um, we have one replica for our revenue um, system that has around 150 replicas. Um, we run around 20,000 read writes QPS on this cluster, and one of our highest QPS on the master is around 10,000, also on our revenue cluster. 5.7 just supports our internal systems, but we're going to move um, our graph system to 5.7 eventually. So why MySQL? It's free. I mean, until you pay support, but it's still free. Um, it's fun to use. That's why you guys are here. Um, it's easy to support. Like I said, um, we have we hired mostly site reliability engineers. Some of them doesn't have database experience, but we teach them how to run MySQL, Postgres, Vertica, and all our RDBMS at Twitter. Stability, it's very, very stable. I've been Twitter for three and a half years, never had any problems. The only problem that I think we had was somebody deleted something um, on our database, and we, you know, we brought it back because somebody complained, some bigger user. Um, it works well on smaller data sets. Um, our average data set per cluster is around 1.7 terabytes. It's robust. Replication works most of the time, unless you have a shared environment and there's a noise enabler or not being nice. It doesn't corrupt data, and there's a community support. That's what um, we're, we're looking for. What's next? So like I said, we're going to migrate to community version or enterprise version, because after I, what I've Heard here, we might go to enterprise version. So Sarah is there. She's trying to convince me. We're going to MySQL 8.0. We like it. We like whatever Thomas and Herman and everybody said about MySQL 8.0. So we're going to take a look at it right away. We're going to POC Vitesse. Um, I've, I've used Vitesse before. I think they're going to have a presentation t you know, during the conference. I've used it before at, when I was at YouTube um, eight years ago. It works. And I think it's also going to work at Twitter. We're going to move to the cloud eventually. I don't know which cloud provider, but 
you guys, Oracle can talk to us, and maybe you can convince us to move to Oracle Cloud. <laughs> um, we're gonna figure out how to use HA, clustering, multi-master, and proxy SQL, because we have um, a lot of customers who really have hard requirements in, in terms of availability, in terms of latency. Um, we're gonna do a lot more automation, self-service, fully automated failover, DB management console. I think we're not gonna do that anymore because I think uh, Cloud SQL is doing gonna do that. I mean, Oracle MySQL on the cloud is gonna do that for us, so maybe we're not gonna do that anymore. 